The value that I bring to VSI, I think, first of all, is clearly from the experience that I had with my own son. But more importantly, um, I had spent uh, about 12 years up to that point with my son coaching. Um, I was always a manager of his club teams. I was the vice president of Crossfire Soccer Club and I knew there was a tremendous need for this. Having go going through it myself and basically as I tell people I did everything wrong in the process, um, I was able to correct that and help people understand that it's all about finding the right school for the right reason where you can play your sport, and if your sport still isn't be, um, something that's important to you after you get there, that you you pick the right school for the right reasons and want to stay there. When someone asks me what we do, at BSI, um, I basically kind of stumped on what to say sometimes, but the shortest version, our elevator pitch, I guess is what you would call it, would be that we're college advisors first, and then we help kids with the college selection and recruitment process. What we are not as a recruiting company, there are many services out there that you can purchase um, their time, and essentially what they would do is they will come up with a list of schools based on athletic, athletics, not athleticism, not grades and test scores. That is certainly the wrong way of going about it. Um, on the other end, private school or high school college advisors, or, or college counselors, I should say, are gonna go through more of a statistical information about how you get into a school, what the percentages are, what the costs are. The difference between those two completely different aspects and ours is that we try to blend all of them together. Uh, like I've said before, the, the student athlete needs to find out what's right for them and then we need to match the right schools for the right reasons with academic and cost being important and then the unknown is what if I'm good enough to play there. And I think a lot of this comes down to the reality of that. Am I good enough to play there? So certainly a a good athlete would not start with a list of all Division I schools. Uh, Division I is, I'm not going to say overrated, but I think it's people don't understand how many players don't play at that level, where we have never had a Division Three athlete transfer or quit playing their sport while they're at a school. Um, that's because their time is more balanced and it doesn't become their life and they have a more enjoyable time playing their sport or like they did in high school.